All right, so he says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues or forces of life. If our, our lives, our wives can listen to the right kind of information, if our wives, wives can listen to the right kind of information, we will have heaven on earth homes. And if our husbands can also listen to the right kind of information, we will have bliss in our homes. The right kind of information. And I'm talking about the word of God. I'm talking about the word of God. A husband and a wife that are dedicated to hearing the word of God and meditating the word of God and growing in the word of God, whatever they do shall prosper. Whatever they do shall prosper. If young girls can get the right kind of information and follow godly conduct, you will see humility and character in their lives. Humility and character will be the outcome of a young girl who follows the word of God and meditates the word of God. So if you see a young girl that is proud, rebellious, stubborn, know that that one, the word of God is still far from her mind. Her, is the fruit of hearing the word of God is humility. The fruit of hearing the word of God is character. The fruit of hearing the word of God is the fruit of the spirit. When a man or a lady is given to hearing the word, it is not by carrying books around and flaunting them for us to see. No, you can be carrying books, but the books are not carrying you. It is, it is the, the fruit that we see from how you relate. The fruit that we see from how you, you can conduct your life that shows whether you are hearing something or reading something or you are not. It's not just in telling us the titles of books you have read. It is a fruit that it produces in your interpersonal relationship that shows whether you are really hearing or reading or not. You know, not some secular crazy models. Modeling after Rihanna. Modeling after, what is the name of the other one, Seth? There's one, uh, Lady Gaga. And modeling after some of those so lousy Funny, Bob Risky stuff. <laughs> Hello here. Is that somebody's name? Yes, Bob Risky. I thought it's a song. <laughs> <laughs> you modeling after crazy people. Models of this world. The models of this world should not be our models. We are godly people. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. When you begin to gravitate towards secular people and they become your models, your Christianity has a problem. There is nothing in them that should attract you. Nothing. Nothing in them should attract you. Because you and them are not in the same kingdom. When you look at some of them, all you should feel is pity and compassion. What you should be thinking about is how you can reach them and get them born again. There's nothing in them to admire. There are people we admire in the kingdom, godly women, mothers of faith, mothers of faith whose lives are exemplary. Bible says, look at Sarah, your mother. Those are examples. Even our mothers right here in church, mama and some of our women, they become your models. You look at them, you admire them, you come close, you ask one or two questions, they help you with, with, with counsel that produces in you godliness. Not some crazy secular people. We follow those who through faith and patience inherit the promise. And what I seem to see is some of these secular models you call models, when their marriages are broken, then they become relationship experts. Have you observed? <laughs> they now to teach you, they want to teach you how to break your own marriage. That's what they are relating to you. How I broke my marriage. If you follow me, you will break your own. Because that's why it's after they broke their home, they now become relationship experts. Don't let any man sit on you. Don't let any man ride on you. Don't let any man tell you what to do and what not to do. Because those are the kind of lines they are now churning out. So that they can have ladies that will be like them who cannot keep a home. So that they are not alone in that boat. You stupid, you will say, wow, I like the thing. She said, it resonates with me. It resonates with your ignorance, illiteracy, and rebellion. Be not conformed 
to this world, but be transformed by what? The renewing of your mind. I'm teaching good this morning. If our girls and boys will make the word of God a priority, you will see a lot of Christian virtues and values among our young people. 